Hello everybody, this is Vial and I am back with another movie review for you guys and this has been the fifth time I've been trying to record this video under this very gorgeous light of mine because oh my god something keeps on happening story of my life here on YouTube something keeps on happening I keep on rambling and shit happens okay so I'm just gonna do this move not movie this book review for you guys and this is gonna be on this book which is beautiful creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll very wonderful women who had written this very gorgeous looking book which is this pretty purple and black cover with a very beautiful purple spine. Normally I don't like things that are purple but this is a gorgeous metallic purple which I actually love. So I'm gonna keep it nice and pretty in my bookshelf. And actually guys, I actually have the rest of them down here in my bookshelf, the next three books. Because what happened is that a co-worker of mine this past week or so had, you know, generally just told me, hey, let's go watch the new Beautiful Creatures movie it's gonna come out in a couple weeks in around valentine's day and i was like she's a really good friend of my network actually and i was like hey yeah sure let's go watch it that would be fun and then in the back of my head i was going oh shit i have not read this book and i kind of want to read the book before i watch the movie just in case the movie sucks so i was just like hey Let's give it a chance. So this past weekend, I picked up the box set, which had Beautiful Creatures and the three other sequels down below here. And I told myself, hey, this is not a couple of, week, couple of years ago when you saw this book and was just coming off the Twilight series and absolutely hating it and was turned off by the supernatural aspect of the book. So I told myself, hey, Give it a chance. It's something you've never read before. Let's read it. Finish this book in about in about a day. I finished it in about a day. Can you believe that? Yeah. Um, the only other books that I finished in a day was actually Fault in Our Stars by John Green and the whole Harry Potter series. Yeah. And this, this is about like 300 pages or so. I think I also finished The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer in about like a day and a half. But I usually take like about like a couple days or three or days, three, three or three days or so before I finish the book. Anyways, background on the book, Beautiful Creatures. This book is about this guy named Ethan Waite and Lena Duquesne. Ethan is this sophomore in high school who is just sick and tired of his very old fashioned restrictive southern town of Gateland. And he just wants to get out. After two years, he wants to go to college far and miles away from Gatlin and just far away from the routine and the mundane world that he is in. Then he meets Lena Duquesne, who is this very mysterious girl, the new girl in school, who is actually the niece of Megan Ravenwood, who is the town's recluse and shut-in, who lives in this huge plantation and is generally kind of creepy. Um, and he just inexplicably, instantaneously falls in love with Lena. And it is also because Lena is the physical manifestation of the girl he has been dreaming of several months before the events in this book, after his mom died. So, Ethan is the main point of view of this book. Um, Lena, is, like I said, has secrets. Lena is actually a caster who is a supernatural being who has control over certain things, who has power over certain things. Her powers is actually the power over natural things which are the elements of fire, water, the weather, the earth and everything and she has the power to move them and do things with them and use them as a weapon. Anyways, she is also trying to be a normal 16 year old girl. And even though she is also inexplicably drawn to Ethan and just, you know, wants to have a relationship with him, she's trying not to. She pushes him away several times before they get together. It's because e Ethan's a mortal and she's a caster and it's going to be her 16th birthday pretty soon and she's going to be claimed, which is for casters. It's either going to be they're going to be claimed light or they're going to be claimed dark, which in very blue black 
not blue and black, black and white terms is that light is when they're good casters and uses their powers for good and dark casters are pretty much dark and evil casters who wreak havoc in the world and hates mortals. So, Lena has this choice and she's very scared she's gonna go dark and that she has tendencies to go dark and that is mostly what happens in the book until the very last few pages. It's a very, very slow burn into what happens into the book and I think if you don't get into it the first 50 pages or so, you're not gonna really like the book, which I kind of thought after 50 pages, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna trudge through and just make it work and read it because I, I want to like this book. And I ended up liking it. It is a very wonderful, very, like I said, hauntingly delicious southern gothic that's a dark fantasy uh, for a YA novel. I think it's written in a way that is different in plot and in setting from other YA novels. It's set in the south and which comes with its whole set of culture and different nuances. So I think that was excellent in this book, in this first book. And also, the only thing I didn't like about it was that Ethan's character, I think, which, who is actually the main point of view of the novel, wasn't written very real, realistically in the aspect of fictional male characters. Uh, he's not like the typical male character, which I think is also, I guess, is a draw for some of the ladies, the girls who would be reading this book. But for me, I was just like, mm, I've read a lot of YA novels and he's not very well written. So yeah. So if I was stocking off points because of that, I'd actually give the book a 3.5, but actually I'd give the book a 4 because I actually enjoyed it. And it's a very good first part of the whole story that builds this whole wonderful world of southern gothicness and supernatural casters and the powers that they can do and the secrets that lies behind this quiet sleepy town of Galen. So thoroughly enjoyed the book. I'm excited to watch the movie and see if it's actually pretty good. Um, I would actually recommend that you read this novel if you're interested and you're, you know, the kind of person who reads YA novels and want to kind of discover a different kind of novel that's set in a different kind of world. Um, and I look forward to your comments. Let me know down below if it's something you would pick up. And if you'd like me to do reviews on the next three books as I finish reading them, I probably would still too. Just because it's my channel and I want to do it. No. Um, but let me know if it's something that you guys want to hear more about. Subscribe down below. Uh, if you would like to see more drama movie book reviews, beauty reviews, which are coming soon uh, from me. And follow me on Twitter. I am at Miss Manderly on Twitter. Link is also down below. And follow me and add me on Goodreads if you're on that site and you're a book lover and a citizen of Booktubia like myself. Uh, link is going to be down below on what my Goodreads account is. And stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys soon.